Okay, so <clears throat> everybody clear your throats. <laughs> <laughs> Is this gonna go in the recording? <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna start now. Fuck, hang on. <laughs> There's cats scratching at the doors again. <laughs> Please leave. Leave. Thank you. It's gonna hit you now. Did you hear me yelling at my cats? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really did. You have a nice mic. It sounded amazing. We have a nice mic. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, and welcome to Way Too Broad, a place for friends to talk about the things that make them sound crazy. I'm Hannah. These are my co-hosts, Aaron and Ben. Hi, Aaron. Hey. <laughs> Hannah. Hi, Ben. Hello. <laughs> <clears throat> are you the kind of person who jumps from passionate interest to passionate interest on a regular basis and basically forgets whatever came before? Well, we won't be able to help you here, but we can relate. <laughs> Certainly can. Uh, so um, today we're going to start with Aaron and... Um, You have something exciting to share with us, I understand. (laughs) I do. So my obsession as of late um, has been... So let me back up. Uh, I love to watch lesbian movies. Spoil. I'm going to go ahead and come out of the movie closet and say... Not not like like adult. Not like adult movies I wouldn't be... (laughs) sharing that with you necessarily but like like yeah. lesbian movies something that you may not know about uh netflix and amazon is they actually you may know this they actually have a wide selection of lesbian movies gay and lesbian movies a ton mm-hmm. just oh, a ton I didn't know that. yeah just a ton um the problem is that when i am sitting down in that special mood to watch a lesbian movie <laughs> Um, I'll go on Netflix and I'll see all of these movies and the rating system for them is completely unreliable and inconsistent because, you know, it's like Netflix stars, which are mean nothing as we Mm -hmm. all know. These movies are often independent films, so they, um, are not on something like Rotten Tomatoes and like the other place that you could possibly go and get a score for is on imdb but also those are super unreliable just like netflix yeah and there's often not um a review of them on the internet so i don't ever know if i'm gonna sit down and it's gonna be an incredible movie that looked terrible or a um a gigantic waste of my time (laughs) and i wished as most are there never any good movies that look good (laughs) No, there aren't. They all look bad. They all have all the good like good music, like shit. <laughs> they all have like two women with their faces smashing together, one hundred percent of the covers. Or they're like naked and like looking up at the camera, like they've just been like discovered, but with like in a studio with bright stage lights. It's like, <laughs> it's like you, you can't judge a book by it's I mean, this a movie by its cover because all the covers are super duper terrible. <laughs> So, as most projects begin, I wished there was a quick resource that I could consult just specifically to know whether these movies on Netflix and Amazon were worth watching. That's all I wanted to know. I didn't want to know, like, on a scale of, like, 0 to 100, but if there would be worth my time or not. Because some of them, when they're... Them? Right. I don't need to know that. <laughs> Probably a lot. It maxes out at 100. At least four. At least four. <laughs> <laughs> because some of them are like weird but worth watching we all know movies like that and some of them are like so terrible that you want to die and wish that you had never spent your time <laughs> on your precious precious time on earth so um what i started the thing that i wish that i had um it's an instagram account it's called <gasps> lesbian movie reviews if you're oh my god no. on instagram you you right now this? i started it so i started oh, this um when did I start it? I started it uh, August 10th, so almost a month ago. I have 
I've been obsessed since then with watching movies. I have 13 reviews up. I have 326 followers. Um, You have actually have 327. Oh, damn. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, and it's just been a joy. It's been a joy for me. And I think the most um, gratifying part of it has been that the comments I've been getting from people I don't know. So what happened was, it was like, I didn't publicize this on my regular social media, so my Mm -hmm. only followers were like, I guess my lesbian friends who also have wished that they've had something like this, and then the Mm -hmm. rest are purely, like, internet people, um, who are also people, fun fact. Um, (laughs) And and this weekend, this past weekend, uh, Memorial Day weekend, or Labor Day weekend, um, one of the accounts, one of the lesbian accounts I follow recommended me they have like seven thousand followers and they recommended that people follow me and my cool. uh follower account account like tripled over wow. the weekend um so anyway the most gratifying part has been comments from people i don't know at all saying things like you're doing the lord's work <laughs> which, is, which is or like thank you this is so needed or i wish i had thought of this which is like so gratifying for me because I feel like I'm doing the Lord's work. (laughs) This is very noble of you, because now you've committed yourself to watching all of these movies, a lot of which are really shitty, apparently. Yes, thank you. Thank you for saying that, Ben. You are doing the Lord's work. I really feel like I am, and here's here's the thing. The guilty pleasure of it all is that I... I like to watch these movies. My wife hates watching these types of movies. So I would, like, watch them on my phone, like, alone and feel weird about it. And now I have, like, I'm watching with purpose, you know? So all the screenshots are are screenshots that I've taken on my phone while I watch it or after. It's perfect. And, And the cover is exactly how you'll see it on Netflix and Amazon as well. Good. So that you can just at a glance um, be like, oh, this movie is interesting. So all I say, the criteria for my reviews, again, are not on like a 0 to 100. It's, is it worth a watch? Mm-hmm. So even if I'm, mm. even if it's like a quirky one that I like almost didn't like but ended up liking, I'll say that yes, it's worth, worth a watch and then I'll kind of go into, you know, or sometimes I'll say it depends. Um, but I also have a section for annoying tropes. Um, yeah. Like a lot of these oh, movies nice. have uh, annoying tropes, like characters dying, like lesbian dying, lesbians dying in like movies and television shows is a sadly common thing, or like cheating, mm-hmm. which I think all but one of my movies that I reviewed has. Um, unreal, like <laughs> wow. Be- <laughs> what? What are you laughing at, Hannah? <laughs> okay, um, I was just skimming the one for C to C. And oh like, God. <laughs> you're like Amazon recommended it to me based on all the lesbian movies I watch and the cover description both make it sound like this is some sort of steamy lesbian movie but folks it is not it is not at all it's a trap oh god <laughs> it was so bad this is like this is why I feel like I'm doing the Lord's work because like yeah. I needed somebody to save me from that movie and nobody did and I am saving if I could just touch one lesbian's life that's all I want <laughs> Now, you why could just does your wife rescue an hour and a half of some lesbian's time? I did. It was only fifty minutes, but it's a traumatizing <laughs> fifty. <laughs> why does your wife hate watching these? Does she like? Is it just because the volume of them that are bad, or does she like not like watching the good ones either? I think she's. It's because um, how do I say this? She's a cultured person. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't. I I don't know. You know I. I shouldn't say that. At the beginning, she wasn't. But then um, she's watched two with me. One that was really good and one that was, like, really bad that I haven't reviewed yet. Um, so, I don't know. You know, I don't think they're her cup of tea. So, mm-hmm. I think that's legit. Um, something else I wanted to mention, um, in addition to annoying tropes, um, chemistry between characters is something that I mention. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also mention any triggers that are in the movie. Because some of them have, like really graphic like sexual abuse or like Mm. two of them have like incest like talk of incest or like situations like that which is really upsetting so Hmm. anyway um i have a question about a lesbian movie yeah i guess i'm gonna just go ahead and tell you ahead of time so you don't hurt my feelings that i love this movie okay (laughs) okay (laughs) give it a bad review (laughs) on my instagram no it's not on there um, 
uh, But I'm a Cheerleader. Oh! Do you know that I, movie? I don't, and I really want to see it. I've heard nothing but good things. It's so good. It's so campy, and, like, I won't say any more, because you should review it. You should watch it and review it. It's, we. I mean, it's it's funny. I don't... Know. Do you want me to say more about it? Uh, you I should mean, say you more. Really... You should say more about it, but I, I, I'm going to stop you to say that I can't review it because I'm only reviewing ones on Netflix and Amazon that are, oh. like, available, and that one's not. But I'm definitely going to rent it and watch it. Okay. Then... I guess I could. I guess I could. Once I run out of free ones, yeah. I could review yeah. it. That's, yeah, that's fine. Uh, it's all the more reason that I should tell you about it. Yeah, please do. Okay, so it's... It's uh, about this girl, and it's um, it's the girl who plays uh, Orange is the New Black. She's the one with the really big hair that Nikki. sleeps with everybody. Yeah. Nikki. Yeah. Um, and she... No. Nikki? Is that her name? The, the mm-hmm. red-headed one? Oh, n- the frizzy-haired one. Yeah. Yep. Nikki, okay. I think. Okay. She um, She's the main character, and she's she plays like a um, a cheerleader... And then one day her parents at the beginning of the movie and, like, her boyfriend and a bunch of other people, like, sit her down and are like, you're a lesbian and we're sending you <laughs> to a, a camp to be, like, it's like a, it's like a, um, um, like a reassignment, uh, sexuality reassignment oh, okay. camp. Like, which, pray the gay away. Yeah, basically. Which doesn't sound like it would be the setup for a comedy, but, um, but it's like, rather than being, like, you know, all kinds of the terrible actual things they've done in some of those camps it's like you know they they, everything is like hyper colored and like i don't know like just the sets are kind of like really cool to look at and um and it's like (laughs) just like this woman training them how to be more womanly and the men how to be more manly and (laughs) and like it's kind of like a backdrop to this love story between this girl who still thinks that she's a cheerleader and doesn't understand why she's there and this other girl who's like exactly my type <laughs> like, claims that, well wait so she is the other yeah. she doesn't think yeah. she's a lesbian from the beginning huh she doesn't think she's a lesbian no she doesn't <laughs> she's, oh. She's oh. Like, i don't understand what i'm doing here <laughs> that's really great yeah but she's like a nice person and i don't know it's just, like the whole vibe is just very cool i think it is like well directed um so I think something like that, like, even even if I didn't, like, necessarily care for it, something like that, that, like, I could see that it has, like, like, I think something like that I would probably recommend, even if I didn't care for it because of, like, all the quirkiness, I could see how somebody mm-hmm. could, right? Like, I really yeah. only say no if I, like, am, like, n- nobody on earth will enjoy this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so that's anyway, exciting. that's my... I'm- my obsession so I'm, follow me on yeah. instagram if you're into if you're into that ben's not on instagram i don't yeah i don't have an instagram but maybe i'll start one you just should. for to follow this account <laughs> it's got you, more filters awesome. you can put on your cat that's true it's a good place for me to post pictures of my cat <laughs> mm-hmm. which is yep. something i've been obsessed with lately but it's not my obsession that's that my, I'm bringing to this show. my main that's my main instagram purpose is so that i don't spam the people on my facebook with as many cat pictures yeah, that's why I decided to turn my Twitter into a picture of my cat every day. <laughs> that's been really rewarding. A, a noble project. <laughs> yeah, I really like. I really like Ben that your uh, that your Twitter handle. We can cut this out if you don't want to share it. But his Twitter handle no, is Disco fine. Greg, and then his in his like description thing it says, "My name's Ben, not Greg." Period. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the cat thing, I uh, so, somebody was talking to me about a study that they just read, or an article about a study they just read, that they can tell from people's Instagrams accounts whether they're depressed or not, based on, like, the filters they use and the subject matter, like, depressed people more likely use black and white filters or take pictures mm-hmm. of people. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, I read a study that you can tell who owns a dog or cat with their Instagram account because all the pictures are of their dog and cat. <laughs> it's uncanny. <laughs> it's a gift. <laughs> it's like I've developed this like sense to be able to tell. I like I, I think you have a cat <laughs> or two. And honestly, I feel like before I got my cat, I found that kind of thing a lot more annoying 
But now I, like, totally get it, because I think he's the most beautiful thing in the world, and everyone should see him all the time. <laughs> it would be selfish to keep that precious gift to yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> well, you know, Aaron, because you, you have Henry. And he's right. A, he's a dog, but but he's yeah, very cute. but he's a... He's I mean, dog, an, it's the same for dogs. He's, a, he's actually an angel, is <laughs> yeah. actually what he is. Um, the voice that you guys give to Henry is one of my favorite things. <laughs> Another one of my favorite things that ever happened was Ben told me this story about one time when I first got Handsome Jack, who's my cat, and I um, took a picture of him and posted it on Facebook, and Kylie was the first person to like it, Ben's girlfriend, and apparently then turned to him and said, I don't understand why more people don't like Hannah's cat pictures. <laughs> they're, they're so cute. <laughs> That. You like I just posted it, huh? Yeah, you like, just was, posted like, it instantly. No, I I think it had been a little while. <laughs> just oh, no. she like, she's a keeper. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's when I knew. Yeah, that's really great. <laughs> yeah, it starts an online petition. The obsession I meant to bring rather than my cat. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so. Mine is a video game that I've been playing a bunch of video lately. games. A video Sorry. James. <laughs> video game. A video game. Um, His name is Ben, not James. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pause for a second? Okay. To talk to Aaron. Don't really this? pause, Aaron. I told don't, don't, pause really pause, don't really pause for real. I don't know what Just you're insinuating. Pause the <laughs> And um, it's like, don't use the word pause around Aaron. <laughs> Two fucking hours of my life wasted. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, so, I don't remember how long it took. No, was gonna, <laughs> oh, yeah. To get off track completely for a second about the name James. Oh. Do you, do you ever, when you hear the name James for a split second, think, <laughs> <laughs> that's sorry. the plural, the name should be James. <laughs> Because that happens to me every time I hear the name James. <laughs> also, the name plural? Timothy. Yeah, yeah tell, well, her, well, tell her the sound, Tim thing. Because it sounds like a plural name. It sounds, it's do James. Mean, so do you mean the end. plural or possessive? I mean, he means well, plural. I mean plural. It sounds like more, someone's saying more than one James. <laughs> but then, like, right away, I'm like, that's James, not a name, you dumbass. The name is James. Well, and what do you also, think when people within, are talking yeah. about multiple people named James and they say Jameses? I don't know what else you would say. <laughs> oh, look at your face, Hannah. You're like, hmm? what do you think about that? Hmm? Got you. Riddle me this, sir. <laughs> Disco Ben. <laughs> what? What? Tell her about the gym thing, Ben. The Timothy. Is it Jim? Timothy? Tim. It's yeah. Timothy. So every time I hear the name Timothy, I have this also split second thing where I think of the name Jimothy, which is obviously not a real name. <laughs> but then, like for half a second, I think to myself, "Wait, is Jimothy or Timothy real?" <laughs> because neither of them sound real to me in that moment. You have some name <laughs> problems in your brain. I, apparently, yeah. But I mean, like I pretty quickly figure it out. Ben is anyway. name queer. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the game I was going to talk about is called uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Yay! And it's uh, it's incredibly popular right now. Like it's it's sold like fifty million copies on Steam or something, and it's only been out for a few months. Um, despite the fact that it's like uh, not optimized at all, like it's in really early access and it's extremely buggy. But like the it's just this guy, Player Unknown. Uh, before he made this game, he made mods for other games where uh, he, he basically created this kind of, this style of game called Battle Royale, where you, like, a hundred people drop onto a map that has, like, buildings and, and, like, and guns you can pick up and stuff, and the goal is just to kill everyone else that's there. Um, and okay. it's really really fun i've only ever won like twice so the way the way it works with um player unknown's battlegrounds or PUBG's, everyone calls it i call it um, pubga 
Pubga. Because I have to be different. Pubga. Can <laughs> you, you, go, you... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Can you just you su- quickly explain what a mod is? You said something about he created other game mods. So it's like, it's like yeah, you like... He, he took games that already existed and then um, made, like... Alt- modifications to them to gotcha. make the kind of alternate versions of the game. Cool, cool, cool. But then this is the first one he's made where it's like a standalone gotcha. um, game. And this is a computer game? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Computer. And so you, you, a hundred people get on a plane and you fly over In the computer, to, Aaron. Yeah, in the... <laughs> <laughs> but don't you have to turn your laptop off? <laughs> I don't believe it. (laughs) You get on a plane and you fly over this map. It's the same map every time, and it's kind of like loosely based on Soviet Russia. Um, and you an an, an island, yeah, it's an island. It's very parachute. You parachute down into kind of whatever spot you want. There are like cities, and then there are more like uh, standalone like houses that are far away from other people. Um. And you just your goal is just to loot as quickly as possible, find something to shoot someone with, some like medical supplies, and then go kill people. Yeah. But the thing is, the thing that's so fun about it is there are a lot of different ways to play it. So like, there are some people who like to drop right in the cities because they're kind of like high risk, high reward areas where like there's a lot of loot there to get. But all because of that, a lot of people drop there, so it's much more likely that you'll die like right at the beginning of the game. Um. And some people like to drop in like more secluded areas where there's not as much loot, but there there's no people, and they and you can you can get really far in a game just by hiding in and, and constantly being on the move, uh, or you can get really far in a game by going to like f- seeking people out and and being a better shot than them and killing them. Um, and the, the I think what's so interesting about it is like it's. It's really fun, but it's really rare that you win. Like, if you're, I mean, unless you're like a, there are already professional players for it. That's how popular it's gotten. But unless you're like a professional wow. player, um, it's, it's pretty unlikely you're going to win. Like, it's, I mean, it's a one in a hundred chance if you're playing solo. You can play in, um, it with like a group of four people as well, which is really fun. Um, so what we do, what I do with my friends is like, we kind of make alternate game modes within the game. Like, we give ourselves alternate win conditions. Like, we do this thing called, we call it Four Horsemen, where instead of dropping together yeah, I meant to tell spot, you the other day, Ben, that is a lame-ass name. Yeah, it's not, I, I don't know why, <laughs> wh- how it happened. Like, one of us just said it one time, and it sort of stuck. <laughs> it is, it doesn't really make sense either. And it's like, let me interject minutes. here. <laughs> to make sure you know, I think that's really dumb. Okay, I not even any horses in the game. That's true. There are, oh, uh, there are, um, jeeps buggies, motorcycles, and uh, cars None of so that you can drive around to. Four buggy men, I think is where you should go with. Yeah. Four vehicle men. <laughs> we, started, we started doing this when we... Four vehicle men would be accurate. We started doing it, we got like really fed up of losing, and we were just like, fuck it, we're gonna define our own wind condition. And the wind condition we decided on was um, that we have to, all four of us drop in different parts of the map, each of us get a vehicle, and then go to the center of the play zone and do donuts in the middle of it. And if all f- if, if we all get to that point, then we've won the game in how, our mind. How do you set that win condition? That sounds like really detailed. Is there like any like programming involved or anything like that? Oh, no. That's like literally just... It, it doesn't... We don't actually win if we do that. That's oh, just like I pers- see. We, just we up. say we've won personally. <laughs> Ian plays it, too. I am... I tried to play once, and and I was a wreck. Like, I'm not good with, like, anything that involves, like, suspenseful gameplay or yeah, any kind really of, like, stressful. you know, like, hand-eye coordination, basically. <laughs> oh, I should also explain, um, the way they, like, make you interact is that um, there's this circle that continually shrinks, like, and, and kind of stages throughout the game. And it moves around, also. Yeah. So and you it, can't and stay it, in it's one place. Ra- it's on a random part of the map, um, and it, like, moves around, and you have to stay inside of it or else you'll continually take damage and as you get farther and farther in the game it does more and more damage so like yeah. basically it just pushes people closer and closer together as the game goes on it's touching <laughs> <laughs> brings everyone together yeah <laughs> so i have a I, I have a question about something you said and mm-hmm. it's that there are already professional 
players? Like, how do you do that? Who is paying you? Um, so they're on esports teams, uh, and the way that works is that so there there are these teams that get a bunch of sponsors, like companies like uh. One of the biggest esports teams is called Team Solo Mid, and they started in a, a game called League of Legends. Um, and now they have like sponsors like Geico and a bunch of other like pretty large companies. Um, let's see, Logitech, HTC, Red Bull, Geico, T-Mobile are all um, sponsors, and so they they like give money to the team to advertise, and then the team pays the players to compete in tournaments. Oh, cool. And also, they um, they stream on Twitch.tv. Yeah, have you ever get, watched um, anybody on Twitch, Aaron? I'm it's twitching, so- I can't see it. <laughs> I haven't. Ever. <laughs> it's just a, it's a place where people stream games, and then um, you can, if you get partnered with the company, if, if, like Twitch the company, then you could, people can subscribe to you, and mm-hmm. that basically they just pay, they pay $5 a month, and half of that money goes to you, Half of that money goes to Twitch, um, and some because PUBG is so popular right now. There are some. There's one streamer in particular uh, named called Shroud who has like almost thirty thousand subscribers, which is like a, a huge number. Yeah. So he's making like sixty five thousand dollars a month right now wow. just on subscribers, and people can also donate um, just like directly to him. And he has, it's, it's, he's making an insane amount of money Dang. riding the, the PUBG hype train. So that's, that's how they get the, most of the money they get from streaming. Gotcha. Basically. Pub, yeah. PUBG is the reason that I started going on Twitch ever. Like I, I have some favorite streamers now and it's specifically because I couldn't get enough of watching people play PUBG. It's like, I, I can, I can see from your face, Aaron, that it does, you don't think that you would like playing or watching this game. But I've never liked a game like this in my life, and I like. Oh, me I am hungry I've never liked for, a for watching shooter. people play this. I don't. Game. I think I would like to play it. I'd be interested in seeing it. Do you pay Hannah pay yeah. on Twitch to watch people? Okay. <clears throat> no, you you can watch people for free. You just don't subscribe to them. I'm not actually clear gotcha. on why people do that. Besides, like just wanting to support the people they like. It's yeah. It's purely just support, and like mm-hmm. streamers will do things where like they'll they'll. Uh, they like have sub goals, where if they get a certain number of subscribers, then There's they'll like let the subscribers decide what game they play, or they do giveaways, stuff like that. Oh, yeah, cool. have kind of incentives to get people to subscribe. Yeah, you also get like one free sub for being an Amazon Prime member, I think, like per. Yeah, because Amazon bought Twitch, and they started this thing called Twitch Prime, where you can subscribe for free every month. Oh, yeah, cool! To someone. Yeah, I have yeah, a favorite streamer, really cool company named Kate, and she has purple hair. I like the women <laughs> streamers. What's the what is it like Twitch dot com? Like if I were, I don't think I'm gonna test that Twitch. out. It's actually not a, not at work. It's, but what what's the website to if I wanted to like go and watch? Because I do, I want to go and, and look at one. It's Twitch dot TV. Dot TV. Cool. Yeah. Dot internet. Dot internet. <laughs> dot dot website. Dot, dot website. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> dot podcast. Yeah. Um. Cool. Thanks Is for that... sharing, Ben. Yeah. No problem. That was you good. want to talk about yours now, Hannah? Yeah, I do. Hannah, okay. what's your mystery obsession? Oh, okay. Yeah, you switched. You just switched yours. Yeah, I did. Today, right? I, I, I was going to talk about a couple other video games, and but I, I changed my mind before I found out that Ben was talking about video game. Whoa! Yeah. So it was serendipity. That worked out. Because let me take you down the rabbit hole that was my day today so oh. okay. All right. <laughs> so i'm ready <laughs> it was an actual rabbit hole well okay so i i can make a direct segue between ben's thing and mine because since i've been watching PUBG, i i've been becoming a fan of more and more people who work in like the gaming industry like i'm not mm-hmm. i'm not like a gamer by any means but i like a lot of the content that they create for various mm-hmm. reasons and for some reason everybody i follow on twitter right now who is in the gaming industry is obsessed with carly ray jepson's new album emotion <laughs> <What>? <laughs> i can't explain to you why and it's not really not what i want to talk expected. about what what'd you say man that was not what i expected <laughs> 
<laughs> I was like, oh no, this is her obsession. No, well, like, I, I will say on the subject of Carly Rae Jepsen that, um, that I, I like a lot of songs on that album and it really makes me feel a lot. It's like a palate cleanser between home and work and work and home for the last couple of days. Like, uh, like I, I, I listened to so many podcasts that I had forgotten, like how, how good it feels to just like let yourself like listen to some crazy energetic music and like Mm. sing along and just like be like crazy about it or like be or like yesterday I was like walking from my cubicle to the bathroom and I was like walking in step with this the song I was listening to and I felt like a fucking badass but like, it was a slow ballad so it took a while to get there <laughs> no so it was that's very it is good like on your drive home from work just to like listen to your favorite song close your eyes yeah. belt it yeah. out you yeah. Know what I mean? yeah 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 this summer I had to take some breaks from podcasts to like listen to albums I've listened to in a while and stuff it was always nice well because I think I got out of the habit because I I used to work in in a much quieter space and I cannot help uh, you guys probably both know this about me but like if there's music going on it doesn't matter if no one else can hear it like I'm singing along to it yeah, so yeah. so so like it was like embarrassing and awkward but now <laughs> I work in a really open space and you can you, nobody can really hear me and the person who sits next to me whenever she hears me sing she's just like you should join my acapella group so it's like not <laughs> 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 not that embarrassing, right? Do you hear that like multiple times a day? Like every time you start a new song, it happened so many like, times. I had to be like, "Listen, I love you, but I've tried it before." <laughs> <laughs> but you would be really good at that, though. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> but I, I I have tried it before. It's it's not my it's not my thing. Yeah. There's too much fake smiling. You should join my um, listen to music on your headphones and sing out loud group. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start that group immediately. Do you we all started, listen to different songs? Aaron, we started that group almost 30 years ago. That's true. <laughs> we really did. Yeah. Maybe that's why my hearing's so bad is I was an infant listening to headphones. <laughs> singing along to my favorite songs. I know, I know your parents, and that's almost true. Yeah. Because they would play a lot of cool music in the car. Yeah. That's one thing I remember about your cool parents. But aren't your parents the reason we listen to Guster? Yeah. Didn't your dad find Guster first? Yeah, yeah. So our family, to fill in our millions of (laughs) listeners, our family are all big (laughs) Guster fans. Yes. And, And the reason our family found out about Guster was because back in the Napster days, we were trying to illegally download... Coldplay Parachute and accidentally downloaded Guster Parachute, and then we were like, this music is way more amazing. It's way better. Yeah, oh yeah. I don't even like Coldplay. Yeah. And Fuck I them. I actually do like Coldplay Parachute. I listened to it the other day. It's a good album. I don't like... I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm gonna just, like, zag on you guys here. I <laughs> don't like Coldplay's old stuff. I like their new stuff. Oh, whoa. He was <laughs> always zagging on me. <laughs> <laughs> you got fucking zag, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ben, you just got zag. <laughs> so is that is that a word you just made up? No, no, that's... like zigzag. No, no, it's a it's it's a it's a I've reference to another podcast. Oh, I thought it was like a zigzag. <laughs> It is. Like, we were it's... we were zigging and you were zagging. Okay, oh. I'll tell you what it is and we can cut it out if you want because I was going to try not to mention the McElroy's for, like, one episode. <laughs> <laughs> one of our two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> but my, on my brother, my brother and me, they give a theme to every year and, and, like, they give it a name. And so, like, 2015 was 26... No, 2016 was 2016. Building bridges. And it was about, like, making things better. And then they were like, that didn't really work out. <laughs> They were like, okay, yeah. what should 2017 be? And they were like, how about they, they spent like 15 minutes at the top of a podcast, like discussing options, and they decided to go with 20 serpentine zag on them, and then <laughs> it's like <laughs> zag when they expect you to zig, basically. <laughs> and that yeah, I, and I have that. a pin that says zag on them on my purse because nice. I'm cool like that. So okay, so Carly Rae Jepsen led me to thinking about the fact that she's Canadian and I wonder how she got like into recording and stuff, which got me thinking about um, this show that I used to watch on the N called Instant Star. Does this ring any bells for anybody here? No bells. What about the N? (laughs) 
word. The N word is what I think of. <laughs> no, the N was like it was it was the children's television sh- uh, channel Noggin, which was like a cable channel in the hundreds. But at night, they would turn into a sh- uh, um, a channel for teens called the N. And and in high school, I used to record like. Every show that was on there. Degrassi, The Next Generation, aired in the U.S., I think, for the first time on The N. But they also did, like, they did a show from New Zealand called Being Eve, which I know existed, but I can't find any evidence. And then um, (laughs) they did a show called Instant Star, which was about a girl who was in high school who um, was, like, a singer-songwriter, and she won a contest similar to like American Idol which was oh, very popular at the time. Oh, that does sound familiar. Yeah, no, you probably saw me watching it, Ben. I don't know if you actually like watched it, but um but but every episode was um this girl her so her name in the show was Jude Harrison. Her real name is Alex Johnson. She's a probably still a singer, but I loved her voice and every episode had a song in it. It was either like she was performing a song she had already written or she was writing the song during the course of the episode. And a lot of times they had to do with what was going on in the episode. And so today, Carly Rae Jepsen got me thinking about that. And so the entire day, all I listened to while I was doing my work was songs from Instant Star. And I, and they made me feel a lot of feelings I didn't understand anymore. <laughs> Like sexual feelings? No, like, well, sometimes, but like they were like, <laughs> like all kinds of like feelings that were like, like almost like sense memories. Like when you smell something right. and you're like, I yeah, this yeah. reminds me of a feeling I had once, and you don't know where it's from. And music yeah. is the perfect example of. I mean, like listening to music, angsty music from when you were in middle school. Yeah, you're like, I used to feel to this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. But like imagine that, but if your life if if your life was like a perfectly crafted thirty minute narrative, like those chunks, and like it was they were built to make you feel these feelings and then they drilled this song into your head while it was happening. And then like twenty it's probably like fifteen years later, uh, like I, I sometimes I'm like, Man, she shouldn't have gone out with that guy and I'm like, What guy? <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> You know, not to like continue being so gay about this, but I I feel like I feel like I have that feeling to Michelle Branch's "Goodbye to You," which um, was in the episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer when um, Tara is leaving Willow. It's like the, the lesbian relationship on the show. And, like, Willow's, like, sitting in a corner, like, crying and her girlfriend's moving out. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, and and that Michelle Branch is, like, singing Goodbye to You, like, live in, <laughs> like, on stage. And Oh, wow. Yeah, so, like, when I hear that song, I, like, feel more than I should. It's, like, it's, like, not just, like, a sad <laughs> song, but I'm, like, I'm, like, feeling their breakup. And, like, my feelings of, like, being gay before I knew what that was and, like, the way that I felt when I, like, saw those characters on TV, (laughs) you know, just, like, so emotionally loaded, you know. Aww. But so I feel like I... You know, speaking of that, just as a side note, something really cool, um, have you heard of the show The Legend of Korra? Uh Mm-mm. Have you heard of Avatar The Last Airbender? Uh, with the bald bald dude with the arrow on his head? Yeah. So this is, um, The Legend of Korra is the, like, sequel series to that, um, and something that's really cool about it is, um, the main character, Korra, it, she's a, um, she's, like, the super fucking badass female character, first of all, and second of all, at the end of the show, they reveal that she's bisexual, and it's, like, it's really cool because it's like a it's a kid show like it's a Nickelodeon show. Oh, that's cool. And I feel like when I was younger, like when I was watching Avatar when I was a kid, it would be extremely rare for any sort of like LGBT relationship to happen on a kids cartoon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And still so I was is. like yeah, it still is. And so it was like really cool. And even from the beginning of the show they've had like the main female character um in the in Avatar was um, this character called Katara, and she was always like super badass. She was never like a helpless female uh, kind of 
annoying. You know, like that that really shitty trope that's uh, in a lot of shows. Mm-hmm. If she never had that, she's yeah. always like fighting for herself and like stronger than everyone else. So it's just like they've been doing that good shit for a while, and I really, I I, I want to give them a shout out on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Nickelodeon? You said, yeah. Yeah. Nickelodeon, keep, keep doing that good shit. Keep doing that, keep good, doing shit. that good shit. <laughs> so, I want to I want to circle back to what you said, Hannah, about that show that you're certain existed, but you cannot find any <laughs> evidence. Like that's that phenomenon, right? The Nelson Mandela effect. Oh Mandela yeah. Effect. The Nelson the Mandela, 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 what's it called? Effect. The, the Mandela, Mandela, effect. Mandela effect, yeah. <laughs> so, oh my yeah. god. <laughs> funny thing about that too um uh do you know who jenna marbles is yeah who's Um, jenna marbles so she's i was just kidding i found some evidence of it it took you like one google i googled it (laughs) i googled it i can't find any evidence without googling not a shred of evidence before i googled it can i tell you wait before we talk about the mandela effect more though because i still believe in it i and there are other examples um the uh, the show being Eve was from New Zealand, and that's how I learned that you don't say Maori for the native people there; you say Maori. Maori? And now I, yeah. it's it's allowed me to correct people so many times, which is a, is a great <laughs> love of lovely. mine. Yeah. <laughs> Another shout out to the end. Keep yeah. doing what you're doing. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, so okay, sorry, ben. Ben. what's your story? Oh yeah. Um. So I follow Jenna Marbles on Twitter because she's funny. And, yeah. Uh, she I don't know who she to- is. I'm sorry. She's just, she's a, it's not important. She's a famous YouTuber. She has, like, she has, like, some of the more, most subscribers. She has, like, fifth most on YouTube or something. She, she has, a, weird she one has with the two little dogs. I don't know. Yeah, she has three little dogs. <laughs> that's all you need um, to know. Yeah, that's all, that's all you need. <laughs> it's, well, it's not, it's So not a very active Instagram story. account is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, do you, the, the, so the CEO of YouTube's name is Susan Wash. Watch Siki. Her last name is W O J C I C K I, and she tweeted something, and Jenna Marbles responded to it and said, "Like this is great, but what in the Mandela effect is your last name?" (laughs) 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 Which I thought was fucking hilarious. (laughs) I like that a lot. I like that usage of the phenomenon. Yeah, me too. Hannah, can you share your personal experiences with the Mandela effect? Is this too off topic? Is this way too broad? <laughs> oh shit! No themes allowed. Um, no, I think we have some more time before we're crazy. Um, well, I I truly believe that the Berenstein Bears had an E in it through my whole childhood. So that's one yep. thing, and I I've seen evidence that. I've seen evidence that didn't look photoshopped that they used to that they printed it that way at least for a while. Okay, I've gone deep into that rabbit hole. But also, what's fun is going I've on done, to like, the Reddit. At least one Google. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I've looked before and I couldn't find it, but that's fine. We popped out of that reality and then popped back into it. <laughs> I sent you that thing. Maybe <laughs> it's the Maybe Mandela it's the other thing. Reality. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's fun to go on to Reddit to the Mandela Effect Reddit and subreddit and like just look at at all the people who just are too stubborn to <laughs> agree that they got anything wrong. They're like, I swear that there used to have the I before the E. That's Mandela Effect. <laughs> Like, stuff like that. Maybe you used to spell it that way before spell check. I right. remember Shazam with Shaquille O'Neal. I was going to say... Yes, Shazam me Shazam too. hilarious. No, with um, yeah. Sinbad. Yeah. yeah. No, I was going to say the one that exists does have Shaq in it. I, I remember the one with Sinbad. I remember the one with Sinbad. I only remember the one with Shaq. That's the real one, right? I don't remember. Or, you know, like quotation marks. I don't know. There's no way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's literally no. We, we just have to sit here and think about it. I'm looking at Google, but it's just telling me a bunch of stuff about being Eve. I don't know. What to do. <laughs> just telling you a lie. Kind of related to like not believing, <laughs> <laughs> not believing the internet. Yeah. Um, I don't believe. <laughs> 
I mean, I believe, but I don't be- believe that narwhals are real. I feel like... <laughs> wow, really? I feel like they are a giant internet hoax. Like, until yeah. I see one, like, a unicorn is much more believable to me yeah. than wow. a narwhal. Like, until I see one with my own eyeballs... <laughs> I don't really believe that. Aaron, there are so many animals you haven't seen, though, right? I mean, probably. But a narwhal is just, like, it has a huge spiral horn that shoots out of its little head, and it's just a little whale, little seal body. And then the horn goes inside of its mouth. Like, a unicorn (laughs) sounds way more believable to me. It's true. Its horn is a tooth. Yeah. Weird. What? Maybe I don't know enough about narwhals. Do you believe in copies, Aaron? uh, What now? An okapi. Okapi? Yeah, it's an animal that looks like its front half is like brown and looks like a horse, and then like its haunches have zebra patterns on them, but it's not related to zebras at all. Oh, gotcha. I think I have seen one of those now. Do you what? believe in it? Does some of them have two horns? See, Marwals? it's an internet so. hoax inconsistency. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of the ones in the Google image search are cartoons or stuffed animals. So. That's what I'm saying. That's or true. Twinkies. I actually really can't. I cannot remember the last time I saw like a photograph of a narwhal or a fucking video of them. Hmm. Okay, not like I've googled onto something. narwhal video, but <laughs> I've never found one. I mean, Google's obviously in on it, so <laughs> I can't trust that source. I mean, you know, and I mean, it could have been like a leftover like April Fool's joke. Wow, they look really weird. They look they almost weird fucking made up. I'm looking at a video of them right now. Does it look credible? Yeah, we can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> can, you- <laughs> yeah. can you hear the music? It's very official sounding. Yes, I can. And they drew circles around the narwhals. Because you oh, can, like, shit. barely see them? No. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it could, I mean, you know, they could have just strapped a, a, a horn to the front of a fish. A fish? Yeah, a big fish. They're not that big. <laughs> really. Uh-oh. You've thrown me now. Yeah. My whole life I believed in narwhals, and I don't know what to think anymore. I know. That's what I'm saying. I mean, what's real, you know? No, nothing. <laughs> what might be real is the podcast outro. Yeah. Might, yeah. might be real, really time for that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. we need to we need to leave our, our our listeners with resources. Yes, that's 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 the first step. Sorry. So, yes, Aaron, share your Instagram handle. Okay, well, my Instagram handle is Lesbian Movie Reviews. So find me on Instagram, and I also wanted to leave the listeners with a recommendation of one of my faves that I've watched so far. Mm-hmm. I've watched a lot of really nice ones, and this one would be a good movie, whether you're into gay movies or not. Um, it's called The Firefly, and it's a Spanish language movie on Netflix. Okay, so cool. Go check That's... it out. Okay, cool. Ben, um, if you want to see pictures of my cat, <laughs> follow me on Twitter. It's uh, at n e disco greg. What's the n e stand for? New England. Northeast. Okay. New England. Um, (laughs) Close enough. Um, And if you want to get PUBG, get on Steam and look up, look it up. It's really fun. It's like, it's $20, I think. And you can, there's like, you can play zombie games and like, it gets very scary if you watch a zombie game where people are playing in first person. Um, That's scary Mm -hmm. as shit. So it's fun. Cool, maybe we can all play together sometime. That would be fun. I won't play, Pub but I'll Jeff. watch. Pub Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the show has a Twitter now, which is too broad pod T O O Broad like Pod. I'm not gonna spell those. You guys are adults. Great great name. Great name. <laughs> <laughs> um and um I have a Twitter which is Anthropology. Um, which is anthropology with an H on the front of it, but anthropology like the study, not like the store. Um, oh. In addition, 
I would recommend that people, if they want to get a sense for maybe like the song that from Instant Star that I learned today that I still know all the words to, just the one that I would recommend definitely that you guys listen to and also anybody else who is interested in, you know, what my high school years kind of sounded like, um, the the song's called Skin. So if you search Skin Instant Star on um, YouTube, you can find it. And Is this music on Spotify? Uh, I don't know. I let my Spotify right. lapse. It, she is on Spotify. Oh. Including the album Songs from Instant Star 3. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, also, hey, also, we're on iTunes and um, Google Play Music now. Maybe not oh, Google, Google Play, Play Music too? yet, but we are on iTunes. So if you liked this, um, even if you know us, you know, go ahead and leave a review. Um, and subscribe. And a rating. And subscribe, yes. Um, and tell your that's friends. Tell exciting friends. for us. Yeah, tell tell everybody. Uh, eventually, I'll, <laughs> I'll learn to tell my friends about it, too. Yeah, follow <laughs> Hannah's lead and wait a couple months and then tell a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um cool so uh thanks everybody and we'll ob- obsess you later Aaron <laughs> that's yours <laughs>